Okay, but whoa, okay, that was a ball break and a half. <clears throat> Three, two, one. Good day there, YouTube. Welcome. Are you fucking kidding me? Good day, YouTube. Welcome to another reactionary slot video, along with our good friends, the dishevelrous, the mischievous, a uh, Twitch chat. Woo! Give it up for Twitch chat. Give it up for the YouTube side of people. Don't play nice now. I know you guys have been at each other's throats for the last few days, but you guys can get along for long enough. Long enough? Long enough! Ha ha ha! Words are hard. I I I refuse to the, I refuse to open to the fact that I uh, I I I was born in England because I certainly don't know how to speak it. Ah! <laughs> Don't you yell at me. Rude. This is staying in. This is staying in. <laughs> so, what are we doing today? Well, in the last vi episode, I mean, if you've read the title, you know what we're getting into. In the last video, we were watching Maxor's incorrect summary of Metal Gear Rising and embracing the memes! Because everybody likes memes, and I like nothing more than realizing that I'm so out of touch, I don't know what you kids call groovy. So, what better way to reinforce that than watching part two from our Lord and Savior, Max or himself? Sit back, relax, and let's get straight into it. Starting off strong with our good buddy, Senator Armstrong here. More! Yes, more. More memes. Economic simulator. Well intended to teach the player the basics of price slashing and how to best divide- Wait, 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 I'm sorry. I feel like I've missed something. Butt. Metal Gear Rising, <laughs> Sons of Delivery, and DiGiorno is my favorite political and economic simulator. Well yes, intended to teach because the world politics the is exactly slashing what I love putting in my video games. The... See, there's, there's a correct way to put politics into your video game, and then there's the Grand Theft Auto way of doing it. You can do it subtly and make it kind of satire, or you can lay it on thick like a brick and make it funny like uh, Metal Gear Revengeance. At no point should you ever take politics in a game seriously, though, because that's kind of the entire point country as quickly as possible the answer of course i is do love being this, reminded that i am constantly living in a world we play and a society the wood chipper, a man probably on a quest to renew the job market that, one life at sure, a time. Uh... so if you've seen part one of my philosophically charged video essay on the deep and interesting metal gear lore which i totally understand then welcome back and if you're viewing I'm this series so for the first time already. Well, that's yep, technically okay. video. you're just going to be more confused than an american at a salad bar what do you mean maxor what do you mean? With your editing style, it doesn't matter whether people have watched episode one or not. We're still going to get the sensory overload, ADHD ridden mess by the end of this that we would have been otherwise. The great thing, why you can take on a Max or content easier than you can my ass, because it doesn't matter which way you take it, you're going to have a good time regardless. <laughs> Ah yes, welcome back to Slicey Dicey Simulator 1, 2, 3. Today we're going to learn the Chop Chop situation. Last time on Metal Gear Raisin, Guns of the Priests. But as for now, our protagonist, <laughs> Raiden with Biden, what a great is recap. forced to I'm argue so glad I got time to be reminded of how much memes. of my that's brain I lost I know in the, the first episode. Up, but that's genuine. Apple bottom jeans, Raiden. What? Boots with the fur. <laughs> Fresh off his adventures to the orange dimension and the insides of American police, it's up to our hero to avenge Obama's death through the slaughter of the unmelanated, no, learning the true meaning of we lost through Obama many trials, again. tribulations, and in his world guest seat where at the Obama Joe Rogan podcast, to finally finding and himself then at the entrance up. to Amazon warehouses with manageable stab wounds. Ugh, damn it, I need token black person. What the fuck? Wound. He and Peel, this blood loss has made me delirious. Tell me a story. There ah, yes, my chest is see. Holy shit. Raiden heads into the hotel lobby hosted by Mr. Mosby. After which, the game sends the ATF to stop me from freeing the Second Amendment. I am forced ah, yes, to take my matters favorite into kind my of missile launchers. The ones in the, the lobby. The pinnacle of game design. The, the Excuse me, fellas, most I'm just heading to this place to put your missile launchers right, in I'm reach playing of another children. Gacha game, okay? Please destroy all records of my credit card debt before the police come. Welcome, one and all, across to a classic stealth game named Metal Gear Solid oh, 2. Oh, dude, We're this bit. Why in God's green earth did they think this bit was worth putting in? At no point has anybody in the world played Metal Gear Revengeance for the stealth and then putting a mandatory stealth section in my slash em up? So if I say I failed this part, a lot. 
stealth game named Metal Gear Solid 2. We're currently undergoing a secret mission to destroy Scandalous <laughs> Snake. Raiden, we, we have to prevent Joe Biden's America. You have to stop him. You're too uh, late, Corn Pop. Captain I have already General Mechanicus, are you there? To Gangster's Paradise. We use our Batman vision to carefully locate the bank records and also the rocket launcher. This puzzle is a great way to simulate the real office experience if you work for Blizzard. So after expunging yeah, you know the records of Overwatch 2, Raiden runs Pirate through Software, fucking Black Friday. Friday. This, this is pretty much the Vietnam average day working like at Blizzard College. HQ. We even have a Richard Nixon. Holy crap! Yeah! Fuck him up, Raiden. As you can see, the situation has escalated. I still find it hysterical when this game first came out. People legitimately didn't think it was a good game. I suppose, I suppose, the, I suppose that was the, I suppose the reason for that though was that everyone was so used to the, the typical Metal Gear Solid game of you know playing Snake, doing all the sneaky, sneaky stuff. That to suddenly have a random ass game come out of the woodworks for um, a Metal Gear Solid game that was like this, I suppose, kind of threw people. But much like that really demented looking dog that your mum brought home for your birthday, you will eventually warm up to it. And so did the rest of the internet. And now it's a cult classic that even by today's standards is still one of the best games I think I've ever played. <laughs> What is up, and gamers? Yes, Max or people here. And today we're gonna hated Raiden, the, um, the, but then they, the, they much the like that demented dog, so grew to him. So that Bezos is a real big you know, fan of boys. Japanese culture, like a really and big fan of Japanese culture, to the extent what? that he filled. Anime's cringe. Yeah, any, any yo weebs out. If you like anime anime waifus, I'm sorry, you're not welcome here. I'm sorry. Yeah, we 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 only like uh, real women here. This building with ninjas. Don't worry, they still use rockets. The decor is so goddamn oriental, it's killing dolphins. Raiden traverses the hidden leaf village oh with the God. DK crew and enters the first elevator built and designed with elephants in mind, or just your mom. On which we fight a gauntlet of enemies that, for several minutes as I reenact for. my trips to the humane Murdering society. You will copious amounts of ninjas, rocket wielding soldiers, and robots, and children. That I can understand. Don't you bring my mother into this! Never catch me, nor will you find the weapon. How tall is this fucking building? This is half of the uh, level. So we get off usually of Mr. Tall Bones' wild ride, ride which allows us to booze and cruise all the way to the moon, apparently. What is that music I hear? That's the sound of your imminent death, oh, my guy. Oh, golly, oh, Geo Gillibrand. I can't wait to see what the game has in store for me now, after all those long combat arena. What? Dude, in my... <laughs> Going through that entire process of going to the moon in an elevator, spending a billion years fighting off hordes and hordes of ninjas to go up against an imposter. To, I mean, you know what? I, I mean, this isn't a bad thing. Now you get your sexy multi-armed waifu from earlier, but with none of the personality. So I want everyone to meet my cool and original boss design named Mistral. This is essentially what the Patriots were doing the entire time. AI Dennis Prager was merely a distraction. These fuckers were synthesizing VTubers. So now we're forced to fight their robotic flesh like- Ugh. First you mentioned anime and then you mentioned VTubers? Ugh. God, you know what? If I see any of those VTubers around here, I'm gonna punch them in the dick. VTubers disgust me. Have you seen those VTubers? They're all drama filled and constantly talking about titties and oh my god. Did you see the artistic meta on Twitch recently? The swines. Light and her huge testicles. This battle serves as a great moment to see just how far you've come as a player, both in ability and tolerance for the best game mechanic. Don't worry though, I'm still very bad. We have to remind ourselves as well, this game was made for the like this game was unironically made for a meme. Originally, the entire reason why Metal Gear Revengeance was a thing was because they made it as a playtest demo so that people in the studio could have something to play on their time off. And they were like, hey, you know what? This is pretty good. Let's actually develop it. And so they did. And because they were, nobody was taking it seriously, uh, it wasn't ending up being a very serious game. And uh, to that degree as well, um, you can tell because they then reused a lot of assets, like, you know, making you fight the same boss multiple times. Thank God that shit's over. Now we can move on. Hello, <laughs> God Hello it's me, Monsoon. A boss you've never really fought before. Move, making me fight Monsoon again after 20 minutes. And yeah, that includes the pants attack. <laughs> Fucking Skeletron Prime looking ass. I guess okay. 
Could we just take the bottom half of Monsoon with us so it can kick people's ass for us? Asking for a friend. You can say a good meme never dies, Jack. God, please take me out of this hell. I've had enough memes today. Look, it, it's Shadow and he, he's a nice cock. I'm, I'm sorry, Maxwell, there is no such thing as too many memes. Anything today. Well, 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 if it ain't the feds. Unhand these brains, Jeff. They're children. <laughs> Their kids are cruel, Jack. They just lose touch with it at the ripe old age of 12. And yet this is still the most appropriate way of disciplining children by today's that. expectations. Mice is wrong, but that, you've got a disobedient child, suck out their brain. Kids love video games. That's why I got them all set up spinning the wheel on my favorite gotcha games. Ah. Oh, Yes, I suppose there is a bit of an allegory here for how brainless uh, the youth have become with TikTok and playing gacha games. And to be fair, if you get sucked in that deep, uh, yeah, you might as well be a brain in a test tube. What else is a man supposed to make his impact? You refrigerated a preschool for fucking JPEGs. <laughs> you think I made the market not for gone, you jack? Like every casino is just a big old conspiracy. Is that... Bullshit. Uh, uh, are we? Oh, are we? Are we not supposed to enslave people and turn them into test tubes to do our bidding in gacha games, so that we don't have to farm ourselves? Oh, we weren't supposed. Oh, uh, 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 Billy, can you um, can you grab the gasoline and and the matches and go down to floor three, uh, warehouse five, please, and and start a inconspicuous fire. Uh, I, OSHA don't need to know what's in that room. Yeah, I, I, I might have misread the uh, per permit that was given. Uh, whoops. Gambling's just a part of who we are. I just market it to sexy children. Besides, Fuck. demand for my products is about to skyrocket. Like the good old days after 9-11. Wait a minute, 9-11 is bad. Speak for yourself. Let's debate this on uh, the roof. Maxwell, the only person who can unironically make a 9-11 reference is gonna be funny. <laughs> Looks like you're a gotcha player at heart. Is that because of my brain damage? No, it's because you go after children. Brain and there damage? Enough room in this children? For the two this was a lethal company reference before lethal company existed. Now I did a little different. Ah, oh, it's this part like so much fun. I said, kids are cruel, Jack, and I love my <laughs> God damn it. God damn it! <laughs> God damn it, Maxor! If anyone else had made these jokes, it, I, I'd be so. Ooh. You know, only Maxor. Ma Maxor gets a pass. Maxor gets a pass. Welcome to the, the Bastard, featuring his tax shield. This battle is comprised of two distinct phases, each one easier than the last. And for some reason... Two, uh, yes, two distinct phases. One, getting your ass beat. Two, getting your ass beat whilst trying to tear open his shields like I tore open your mum's legs last night. <laughs> Helicopter, go go gadget concealed carry. In his first phase, we simulate beating to death a cheeky goblin using money to compensate for his lack this of human it? empathy. And by the second phase, it's quite obvious why he does it. This means it's up to us to cut each shield individually so we can play the game. And yes, you explode this... when you miss. Not only this, but his this health is the length more, of a Cambodian life of in 1977. Sure. Meaning, once you get past that, the fight is basically over. In fact, it's quite easy to just not get past his shields ever. They say that. But do you want to know who still managed to die like a bitch? Do you want to still know who, even after they cut all the shields off, do you want to know who still managed to die like a little Yeah, me. I did. Because I suck at video games. But I did it with style. And straight up kill him the fungular entertainment way, featuring Sheldon Cooper from the Big Bong Sorority. I mean, let's face it. But if you do this, let's face it, this is all just to build up the Senator Armstrong's speech. So, standing there and just waiting for Jeff to uh, present. So enjoy that second phase while you can, because this music is a gift from God. It is. This is as bad shit as it looks. Oh yeah! It's such bullshit anime nonsense, but you can't help but love it. Two 
pieces, they say. To pieces. Can you tell that's my favorite song? I upgrade Raiden's item as we board a helicopter being driven by a... De, uh, de, ha, doctor, how did you <laughs> get a... Uh, yes. <laughs> oh, credit card debt. Of course. By the way, Raiden, do you remember that bank you sent to the past tense? It was like carving a pumpkin. Well, I think you missed one. I can't go to prison, Raiden. Why? Because you play Genshin? No, Raiden, I'm a Nazi. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that'll do it. Well, time to kill myself. What the fuck are you talking about? There's so much well, hearts of it, iron okay, to play. Okay, you know I'm what? The Nazi thing, the, 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 the credit card debt, but also, you know, could, could it, could it possibly have been, um, the uh, sh uh, unfathomable amount of murder? Like, there is enough death and destruction in this game to violate several Geneva Conventions. And not once has anyone really done anything about it. In fact, the uh, New York Police Department even kind of just let it slide because that's just kind of how they roll. I'm gonna not see you in a second. Not today, I guess. So, Doctor tries oh, to dear. kill Raiden anyways, and he responds by dividing the public. The hard Divided? Way. Just like how the people were on Brexit. Ah, yes. Relatable content. Ah, I can make satirical, uh... So Raiden hits his head so badly that he lands in a, a, a different game. The volume is a little bit up. You know, it's just slightly up. Uh, it's kind of loud. We did the graph. Is that a reference to my ability to sound balance my videos? Because if it is, fuck you. Graphics <laughs> are um, a little different. Raiden heads to the gas station and uses the Zandatsu to cut through the environment no, dynamically. No, no, okay, okay. Maxor, Maxor, I gave you a pass on the two towers, the pedophilia, and the couple of your Nazi jokes. This is a, this is a, you're leaning a bit heavy on this, aren't you? I guess they did. Not see that coming. <laughs> I'm getting banned. Yeah, that uh, it seems like how it works. This isn't even Metal Gear Rising anymore. I'm just playing Roblox games. Raiden survives the impact of a sedan when I was a child and gets utterly destroyed. Hey, if Max was allowed to be unhinged, just like I'm me allowed on to be a bit unhinged. Okay. Just forced to play a previous level, but backwards. Thank you, level designer. Thank you for reusing assets to save yourself time to put more time and effort into the combat. We love you for that. Oh shit, a free bike. Don't worry, it's a rental. <sighs> it is 2024. Crazy Frog came out 20 years ago. 20 years. That song is older than a lot of people on in my stream currently. And after 20 years, I am still subjected to the PTSD I had to go through in high school. F you. There are rumors that the Nords are attempting to capture the whole of Soul's time. Anyone looking for work should consider the Fighters Guild. I hear they're always looking for new recruits. Why did you ran over Adventurer, a child nine there's... miles back? What are you going <laughs> Adventurer, to do? There's, a, there's, a, there's, a, there's a settlement down the road that needs your help. Oh, so now you decide to stop. I'm running late. Oh, don't worry, Raiden. The Clown College is closer than you think. Yeah, it's right in front of me. <laughs> Why was he looking at me when he said that? I know I'm a clown fiesta incarnate, but you don't have to say it. <laughs> Kill yourself. Your <laughs> ass will always be cringe, and the average my ass will always be thick. 497 North Parker Drive. Oh, good. <laughs> you're getting more based by the day. But I live with but my if mother. Based, Is this her house? You cannot be free. Also, the person who made this is clearly an ass man. Between two equally matched swordsmen, this fight was so good, though. Speeds. It's up to us this, to defeat the weakest I would say Brazilian this fight is the Artorius of, Metal, of the Metal Gear Revengeance series say serious this is the this was the artorius this fight was the hardest in the entire game for me don't get me wrong senator armstrong was difficult but this one took me for a loop and it was so much fun also that burp was for free you do not have to prime for that this guy's out Unless. here making the rainforest look like a fucking joke and the best part is there's no bullshit in this fight no minions Absolutely no not. shields no monsoon telling me about fucking among us it's just you the sunset and the soil this is the best boss ever holy shit right in disarms wham slam bam Absolutely. sam you which causes actually, him to like lose this is the fight where you have to get fucking good 
And I love that. I love games that just do not hold back on you whatsoever. You either get good, you play well, or you die. Kind of like the Nameless King from Dark Souls 3. Or Artorias. Or any major boss in Dark Souls. Marbles, and this somehow makes the fight harder. I mean, he straight up punches you like he's in goddamn Yakuza. Hey, Raiden, look at this cool bug I found. <laughs> oh, Raiden, no need to flip out. Dude's got thunder thighs bigger than the power grid. Sam will test every single neuron can do into a corpus you, callosum with unrelenting and dangerous attacks. Kill you. Strong enough to burn do. a hole in my Adderall supply. You, it's not a drug problem, it's Those a drug solution. Are weapons and that is just phase one. God help you when he picks up that sword again. And my unfortunate thing was I hadn't learned how to parry by this point. Or at least not well. Which might explain why this fight took me multiple hours to beat. Because I could not for the life of me understand how the parry mechanic worked in this game. <laughs> But this was definitely a crash course in my patience, my sanity, and my ability of self-deprecation. Na 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 na. I had this entire OST in my favorite list. Big blood, Jen. Yes, I don't have a choice. The man in the mirror, na na. I challenge you to a debate. What the fuck? No. Dies of cringe. <laughs> so Raiden goes to inspect his kill Yo, like a cat. Yo, just Only like me. That Dies of cringe. Just like me dealing with the average VTuber nonsense. Ah, uh, VTubers, when will you not be cringe? By the way, I don't necessarily associate, my associate myself to being a typical VTuber, so don't associate me with that. Don't let me in with that lot. That he has no cybernetic enhancement. This man dunked on Raiden harder than Kobe after he threw an Ava unit, and he did it by juicing. Raiden <laughs> steals his clip of the big red he's sword with badass. a five-star gotcha rarity and 33% crit rate. Raiden, you have a motorcycle. Why are you sprinting there? <laughs> Why don't we just relax and turn on the radio? Would you like to have a <laughs> Ah, the best character in the entire franchise. Yes. Marish. Behold, this is peak male performance right here. This man has pizza and anime. This guy is moisturized, he is in his lane, he is satisfied, and he is content. And he is living the peak life. This man ain't got no worries. This man ain't got no constraints. This man is peak male performance and people hate it. Yes, that's good. People wish they could be like this man. Raiden McFucking breaks into NASA so he can go somewhere quickly. You see, the current president, George Bush, has made a horse race across America. That way, he can assemble all of the votes and activate the guns of the Patriot Act. Uh, yes, but to yes, understand what that means, we have to head to a previous game. It's Metal Gear Solid 4 again, and the Clinton Foundation controls oh, the entire fuck, planet. Dude, I completely forgot that Metal Gear Solid 4 existed. Like, I can't. I, Cause like a, a, you you finish Metal Gear Solid two, and then the next time you see Raiden, he's a goddamn ninja, and it's never really explained properly why that happens. <laughs> he goes from this edgy little fuckboy in in Metal Gear Solid two to being a badass fuckboy ninja, and I'm not saying that's bad, but I would much rather have a fuckboy ninja than just an edgy emo that looks like they're one step away from being a member of My Chemical Romance. The only thing standing in their way is the now unsolid snake because he's old. <laughs> David, I want you to meet someone very important to me. His name is Joe Biden. And again, hot, I, got Ronald. I have. Damn, they got Joe Biden in his younger years. Shit, dude, he's looking, he's looking, he's looking like he's about twenty in this one. And again, hot, I, got I have kept him alive using the miracle of child sacrifice. We choose truth over facts. And I'm gonna choose death over life. Wow, that sure made everything easy to understand. Oh my god, it's my dad. Oh fuck up, I've returned. What I'm saying with is, puppy. Metal Gear Solid is very hard to understand at the best of time. Yeah, anyways, do you know where daddy can buy some cigarettes? Last time you got those, you disappeared for 10 years. I know. So have you ever heard of NFT trading? No, uh, what is that? Well, you start by buying a monkey. Can you feed ah, the yes. monkey? Nah, but an you can sell it for a rocket or some shit. That's great, honey. Makes yeah, I'll be right like back. Idiot, now with our transportation acquired, we blast off into a fucking space. Our goal is to reach the utopia of Pakistan and stop the evil empire of a America from initiating yet another He has a point, you know. At what point do you really look at yourself and realize, yeah, America aren't really the good guys in any situation? And I realize the irony in that saying that I'm from Britain. Yeah, I, I realize I yes, I know. It's ironic and hypocritical, but shut up! military incursion called Operation Take Come Say. Finally, I have tracked down the great Satan to his source. Now this cliff will make me a martyr. Fuck. Jock al Radin goes to the base so as to convince the boot boys the error of their ways and appear on to Indian remind them that they still to need to pay taxes conflict. like the rest of us. And that tax is in their death. 
Raiden, have you heard of you have a, You have an exorbitant amount of light. Mind if I take that from you? Will be hard to be you might notice something funny about this level. It's, uh, it's three rooms. The developers fucking gave up, so so do I. Raiden plays the real game until he finds the cap. <laughs> Nobody plays Metal Gear Revengeance for the level design. The whole universe was in a hot, dense state when nearly 14 million years ago, Raiden discovers his dog after being made into a family guy episode. <gasps> no, I wanted to feed you that chocolate before a gigantic McFucking crab evolves from the goddamn uh -oh, soil like the a Shadow thousand cicada. Metal Gear Spider. What the fuck? Right. Well, if it isn't sussy it, chat, bro, Here we go. This is the speech that everybody was waiting for. A check. There are so many memes yes. that were made out of this. I on American spirit, and there's nothing more American. <laughs> and there's nothing more American than shooting a man in this Walmart of a world. I wonder how much this dialogue would have changed if it was made in 2024. Yeah, me thinks that uh, there would have been a lot more about school shootings than this. What is Walmart? It's heaven, Ryan. You Check the internet bitch. lately. Ryan, hop on Twitter. You need to see this. Fuck, I hate this website. It's all fucking weep shit. Oh dear. Yes, this bit did not age well. Ryden, hop on Twitter. What the fuck is a Twitter? <laughs> Need to see this. Fuck, I hate this website. It's all fucking weep shit, Ryden. It doesn't make any sense. They're being distracted with other. No Was that a VTuber? No, this holds up Twitter. Distracted with other nonsense. These baboons don't even you know You mean Twitter was VTubers all this along? Calling me Always a has been. And that's just the beginning. E-girls, gotcha, memes, all just petty distractions so real men can get down to business. Amogus. And as you know, American imperialism is absolutely justified because we had a black president once. Be and because I said so, and anyone that decides to say otherwise is gonna go to the gulag. Before I fucking killed him. That's a nice argument, Senator. Why don't you back it up with a source? My source is that I made it the fuck up. Imagine he said the thing! He said the thing! Dude, I... <laughs> that line... That line is never not relevant. ...old ride in free of cancel culture, so no one can call me out for my outlandish claims. A world where I can say the N-word! What? I'm not sure that's something you really want to aspire to. No. You know what? I'm going to say the N-word and no one can stop me. Nipple. There. I said it. Ban me if you will. But I am... I have the freedom of speech at my side and there's nothing you can do to stop me. I'll say... I'll say... I'll say it again. Nipple. Nipple. Oh, I've said it three times. Yes. Nipple. I don't see what all the hubbubaloo is about. I've got my own to debate online. Yeah. In this battle canceled. against Microsoft two holidays hell, we are faced with a boss too large to be fun and are relegated to what enjoying his onslaught from the There is no time fighting a kaiju-sized boss is not a good time if it's done well. Inside of the forever box, this battle is a classic case of wait for him to do anything, just like Congress. And like Congress, yep. when he does do right, something, it Parliament. usually hurts you. Fortunately, this music is excellent and fits one-to-one mm -hmm. -one with All I Want for Christmas. No! 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 Not this! I got back. Okay, this song absolutely bamboozled me. I got. We just had Christmas a little while ago, and someone was like, "Hey, Makari. Hey, Makari, why don't you? Hey, why don't you listen to this song on stream?" And I was like, "Oh, I love. Oh, I've already said hunts. Nah, they gave me this." It is the equivalent of Rick rolling somebody, but worse. At least Rick rolling is funny. Fuck you two ever did that. I'm not joking. Although for some reason Biden can parry several tons of crush force. Maybe my sister I mean, could have done that you? against my stepdad. Kind of Biden suplexes the giant lobster for the second time today. Then he yanks off his arm to have a sword fight with it. Every other game is now worse because they don't have this. True. Check it out, Raiden. I just got vaccinated. <laughs> Nano machine, son. Oh God, he's hot. Time to oh hit God, the he's Super Saiyan level two. I don't have much. I don't know, Jack. Maybe your face could use some work. <laughs> it's the meme. Hope you can afford healthcare, Raiden, because the taxpayer can't. It's. Ha 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 
that's a bit on the nose. And I'm only saying this because as a Brit, I'm now very self-conscious of having to pay for my medical bills because the NHS is being privatized and I might have to start paying for my own medical bills soon. Oh, I'll know what it feels like to be an American citizen. I don't want to be an American citizen. Don't want to pay for my medical bills. Can I get a fucking gun? Put it in my hands and show my mom. Wait, what? Okay, that went somewhere I didn't think it would. Okay, brain, brain, shut the fuck up. Hold up, brain? Why? Why did you? Anyway. Funny because thousands of people die. Of Don't fuck with this, Senator. <laughs> what? Snap into a Slim Jim. <laughs> my mum watches my stream, by the way, so oh, I'm probably going to get in much but trouble no later. Come. What? Land of opportunity. American dream. It's all bullshit. The success of a nation is the... Th this entire cutscene had no reason to go this hard, but it bloody well did, and I could not be happier. This entire cutscene, I think it was like 20 minutes long. This entire cutscene took up as much time as a tenth of the entire gameplay of this game did. And it was only made the better for it. This People play this game specifically for this cutscene, and I do not blame them in the slightest. Determined by materialistic and socioeconomic factors. Read a fucking book. <laughs> The truth, then. Us and there's no explanation why nanomachines so made him big. There's we'll no explanation steal, why a senator up, even has access to this kind of bullshit. That's crazy. I know it's very hard well, to believe, need story? but that's just what the it USA happens, is just all because. about, Jack. Not hiding our theft and murder, but embracing it. Whether it's votes, whether it's money, especially money. Mm, Fuck all these lip I like YouTube. money, too. That's why I'm in a donathon because my life is falling down around me, and I've needed my, pe my peoples to help me. And I'm definitely pause champing this much to extend my mid rolls so that I can make that big bank. For you see, ladies and gentlemen, that's the political agenda. We're trying to pause champing. It's not a requirement for me to talk. It is a way for me to capitalize on your watching. You hate it when I pause champ, and yet you watch anyway. That's the American dream to be able to watch and consume content. And no matter what, even when you're shoved full of pause champing, even when you despise every element of the content, and you watch, you watch anyway, you sheeple. Ubers and chicken anyway. shit redditors. Fuck this 24-7 internet spew of discord and VTuber bullshit. I think he heard me. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> that is the most perfectly timed nonsense. That was personal. How dare you? Wow, Senator Armstrong. Uh, I didn't mean to upset you, man. You didn't have to. You didn't have to like call me out like that, shit, dude. Now I'm gonna not sleep tonight. Not that I was going to anyway. I'm gonna build a new future, Jack. One where we won't have to hide our stealing from anyone. And for that, I want you by my side to build a world truly free from the consequences of our actions, just like the founding fathers intended. America. What do you say, Raiden? Why not try to say it? Just I, I, I want to see an alternative once. world where Raiden accepts his you, offer. Senator. You're not cringe. You're just fucking racist. <laughs> Finally! Finally, the pretense dropped. They don't like hearing the truth. Pussy. Actually, this is also the same conversation had between every uh, Californian and every Floridian. <laughs> Two. What the fuck was that? <laughs> God damn it! We're making the mother of all omelets here, Jack. Can't fret over yeah, every egg. I'm that's sorry, the line. Senator, but this is my Metal Gear Rising revengeance. Uh oh. Yeah! The memes! And that's why we made the video. <laughs> This is so Dragon you Ball Z. Like, this entire fight is so your Dragon Ball Z. You see what I mean though? Like, this this cutscene just keeps going. This is all one cutscene and it's been red, abridged and blue, heavily. Jack. I wonder what color yours is. Wait. Raiden. Brian Griffin. You can't <laughs> give up yet. Think about every mentally deranged moron you've fought up until this point. You've always had the strength to overcome. Whether it was violence in movies or sex on TV, <laughs> I was always lucky there was a family guy. Keeps coming back. He was the Just room temperature of like Alaska. You are the best Chia pet ever made. Illness. Sam put a fucking speaker in his sword. <laughs> That's right. I finally uploaded my consciousness into my gaming setup. Raiden, the reason Yo. you're...
Ultimate goal. Ultimate goal in life. I too wish to upload my consciousness into my gaming rig so I can game for all eternity and get that finally after 2,000 years of living in my computer, get all of the gacha uh, waifus from Genshin for free. Because I might actually have enough time in that space. <laughs> Cringe is not because you ain't skilled, but because you ain't ballin' on that stank-ass Windows 95 pewter. Even in death, he's on crack. Just this once, I'll lend you my setup so you can know what it's like to be a real gamer. Yeah, how kind? You're my how little kind? dog champ. As long as it's not Mac, I've it should always be fine. said my sword was a tool of justice. Not a weapon, but a way to bring back those good old-fashioned values upon which we used to rely. But this isn't my sword. I, um... It's a fucking mistake. I'm going to be brutally honest with this one. I think Maxor's version of the speech is better. <laughs> and the thing is, this game is so batshit that you could unironically replace all of the cutscenes in Metal Gear Solid Revengeance with what Maxor is putting instead, and it would still be just as relevant, still be just as based, and still be just as coherent. And still fit it's a fucking perfectly. mistake. Hey, what's up, guys? Maxor here. Welcome to the final bond. You know, he can be a. Uh, this guy's a little, uh, you know, he's pretty hard. We're here after extensive nah, cutscenes to finally hard. teach America that violence I mean, is never was, a solution. I, I got it's a question, it, and the answer he's is just a yes. Start boss. Praying, boy. Ah! Dwayne The Rock Johnson's immense strength when and talent for volcanic eruptions comes from his ability to switch between a culture vulture and Obama at will. Channeling the power of both races to whoop your ass back to Roblox. But among his many racial tactics, he's the most the power of both races to whoop your ass back to Roblox. But among his many racial talents, our buff buzzard is fast, has a great singing voice, and possesses forklift certification. When you die, it will be in accordance with OSHA regulations. But after spending enough time in the oven, our athletic aesthetic disarms Raiden and reports to his chiropractor for an adjustment. This guy beats up more biracial people than a police officer. Armstrong even has the power to receive the light of Allah, which bestows upon him miraculous yeah, no, healing wisdom. That holds Needless up. to say, this fight is fantastic. Considering the rest of this game, expanding on every skill we've acquired on our long and arduous journey for a final battle that truly tests our metal. This isn't even the first time Raiden has. This is truly the point where you ask yourself, how much anime and crack cocaine do you think that the developers were huffing when they got to this part of the game? Because the answer is, uh, not enough, clearly. Stabbed a politician to death, but if I get my way, it won't be the fucking last. Hmm. I will say, thematically, and in terms of, like, the actual fight itself, this fight was the best, just the visuals and how epic it felt. Hmm. And just watching Raiden go full Super Saiyan on you know, Armstrong's ass. So good. Yeah, I can tell. That's why you're the best, Jack. You always wore my heart on your sleeve. <laughs> if I hear another goddamn pun. <laughs> if you kill me, Jack, you'll finally be free. Free to follow your heart. Okay, that's it, buddy. <laughs> I approve of these news, jokes. United States I approve. Senator this is, this is a this inky approved meme. Open heart surgery. Honey, can we please stop watching obituaries? You'll be on there next if you don't shut the fuck up. Oh shit, Savage. my Blackberry. Good news, Jonathan. We've got a new job Good news. I wasn't ah, arrested for being a Nazi. Dog. Yeah, anyways, it's for a ninja cyborg. Ninja cyborg? Doesn't Raiden do that? Oh yes, Raiden. Uh -huh. Well, um, the police might be after him for that vehicular manslaughter. Yeah, and all the other slaughtering <laughs> and manslaughter murder. Manslaughter doctor? And, I did that shit uh, on purpose. Racist mentions and stuff. Holy shit! Max will never disappoint. One of his peak videos, I feel. Because the video kind of reflects his personality, I feel, and just fits. Ah, <sighs> Maxwell videos are never a bad shout. And if you ever want to join us whilst we watch these kind of things live in person, so you can witness somebody pause chant more than uh, the NFL pause their way through their ability to score, then this will be your prime opportunity. There'll be links down below, and you can come by and suggest things for us to watch and uh, enjoy playing games together. I will say as well, the, this... Uh, this Maxwell video specifically, I think just fits him to a T. It's his personality incarnate, and it kind of, ref like, the game reflects Maxor's entire style, which is why I think it works so well. So, I hopefully will see all of you in the future. Lots more content coming in the, uh, in the near future, assuming Has Been Hotel doesn't get me banned off of YouTube. <laughs> anyway, please like, subscribe, all that kind of stuff, all the bullshit people ask you to do on YouTube, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye!